the worst advice you will ever hear in this chair, and you'll hear it every week during your entire business school career, is the following. We invite two types of people to universities to speak or business schools. Super interesting and successful people or billionaires. For some reason, we've decided that billionaires just have insight around life. And they oftentimes finish their conversation with what I think is some of the worst advice given to young people. Does anyone want to guess what it is? Follow your passion. What utter bullshit. <laughs> if someone tells you to follow your passion, it means they're already rich. <laughs> and typically, the guy on stage telling you to follow your passion made his billions in iron ore smelting. <laughs> this is your job. Your job is to find something you're good at, and then spend the thousands of hours and apply the grit and the perseverance and the sacrifice and the willingness to break through hard things to become great at it. Because once you're great at something, the economic accoutrements of being great at something, the prestige, the relevance, the camaraderie, the self-worth of being great will make you passionate about whatever it is. No one grows up thinking, I'm passionate about tax law. But the best tax lawyers in this nation fly private and have a much broader selection of mates than they deserve. And they get to do. <laughs> then they get to do interesting things, which, by the way, makes them passionate about tax law. And here's, here's the problem with believing you should follow your passion. Work is hard. And when you run into obstacles and you face injustice, which is a common guaranteed attribute of the workplace, injustice, you'll start thinking, I'm not loving this. This is upsetting and hard. It must not be my passion. That is not the right litmus test. Do your passions on weekend. Be a DJ. Jay-Z followed his passion and is a billionaire. Again, assume you are not Jay-Z. 